ever wanted to generate a consistent character? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using Leonardo AI image generator. Let's dive right in. Hey everyone, welcome back to Lazy Life Hack. If you are new to Leonardo AI, check out my beginner guide video. You will learn all the basic and detailed info on preset and LoRa. Today we are focusing on how to create consistent characters, one of the most requested features. So let's get straight into creating consistent character with Leonardo AI. First, click the image icon next to prompt box. Under image guidance, select character reference. There are two ways to set up character referencing. First is upload your own image for reference. You can use a photo of yourself, a friend, or even a celebrity. Here, I'll upload using Dwayne Johnson photo as an example. And at the prompt, Dwayne Johnson is a Viking dwarf holding a giant hammer. Keep the preset at Leonardo Lighting. And hit generate. As you can see, the new image reflects Dwayne Johnson face from the photo. Let's try a few more prompts. This time we use Keanu Reeves. Change the prompt to Keanu Reeves as a FedEx delivery man holding a box. Not bad, it does kind of look like him, but a bit more Asian to me. How about Keanu Reeves as a pizza delivery man holding a pizza box? You can see that the face referencing is quite smooth. So basically, you can use this upload your own image referencing when you have an actual photo or drawing of the character you want. Okay, so another way is when you don't have an actual character to reference, you generate the main character in Leonardo and reuse them again in following image sequence. First, we create a character, a medium long brown hair woman, green eye pupils, small freckles on face only, wearing earrings, smiling, wearing a white tank top and blue jeans. Wow! Now click the image icon, choose character reference, and select your generations. This will bring out whatever you generated. Choose the image. Add an additional prompt on what you want her to do. So I want an image of her driving a car. You can remove all the prompts since character reference is already active. And at the prompt, just type a woman driving a car, full body, white shot. Change the preset to Cinematic Kino and hit Generate. There you go, the same character in a different scene. It is pretty straightforward once you get a hang of it. Let's try a few more. This time I want her to pick up fruits. So change the prompt to a woman picking up fruits in the field, full body, wide shot. I hope you understand clearly on the two methods of the character referencing. Okay, let's move on. Now let's check on content reference. This feature lets you upload an image you like and combine it with the character reference to create a consistent look. Let's upload an image of Chongli from Street Fighter. And at the prom, Chun-Li from Street Fighter, full body, wide shot. So we're going to make this girl look like Chun-Li from Street Fighter. This is quite nice. The hand can be better. Please take note that the face of the character need to be big enough to use character referencing. If it is too small or far away, it won't work that well. Let me show you an example. I upload another Chun-Li image, but this time the face is a bit far at the back. At the prompt, Chang Li doing a kick from Street Fighter, full body, my shot. See what I mean? The image comes out great, but you can hardly see the face. I'm going to upload Lara Croft image. And at the prompt, I will add Lara Croft holding a water gun by the waterfall, eyes looking to the left, full body, my shot. Well, we can't use the water pew pew, so I use water pew pew instead. This looks great, easy as pie. So just with this character reference and content reference, you can generate a lot of images in sequence for any purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We still have more to explore. 
let's add style reference. This style reference doesn't copy any content, but it will reference the color scheme or theme from another image to your image. Now let's add a style reference by uploading an image with the color I want. I'll be using Cyberpunk theme. Change the preset to Leonardo Lighting. So same prompt, no changes, hit generate. Looks great. See how the colors now match the style of the image I uploaded? This actually works quite well, better than expected. So with these three references, character, content, and style, you can create storytelling video like Ray William Johnson, who uses the old comic Laura with the Leonardo lighting preset. You can also generate consistent characters for a children bedtime storybook or create a visual for a music video. Okay, let's try one more call, as to image. This as to image feature is quite unique and very different from others. It traces the edge of the subject and based on that, you can modify it using style reference. Let me show you how. First, we select as to image. Here, we upload an image of a house. So this tool will trace all the edges of the house in the picture. After that, choose a style reference Let's go with steampunk. In the prompt, I will type a steampunk theme hole. Change the dimension to landscape for wider view, then generate. The result is really awesome. Wasn't expecting to be this good. Now let's try with a more complex one. We try using a renaissance theme. In a prompt, type a renaissance theme home, then generate. I have to say this is really impressive, but it's a bit too much. All the advanced features under image guidance are available in Leonardo for just $10 a month. Wow. This is a game changer when you can consistently create characters and images for your project. It is really worth trying. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in next video. Bye.